My husband and I run the business of the Hawaiian hut. The main goal of Hawaiian hut is to serve anybody that wants to eat Polynesian food. We have Portuguese sausage, we have poi, we have uh, manapua, we have terry burgers, we have saimin, and we have a lot of the things that a person would want to get when they are in the Hawaii or the South Pacific. My parents grew up in Tonga. My mother's grandfather was Japanese, you know, and he ran a store, and my mother's parents ran a store. But we realized we needed to do something different. We weren't going to compete with like supermarkets like Walmart, so we just specialized in specialty foods, you know, that were more traditional, that gives that that feel of, um, oh, this is what my mother used to cook. I think the biggest thing is that making sure that, that we speak the language so that they come in and they feel like they're back at home, so that they feel like they're back in Tonga or they're back in Samoa or, you know, like we try to make sure everyone feels like they're coming home to like, you know, their uncle's place or something like that. We have all kinds of lace. We have kukui nut lace. We have keepsake lace, which are made of feathers, made of candy, made of money, and made of silk. And those lace, you know, they, we have them all year through. Then we have the fresh flower lace, and those flowers are flown in from Hawaii. Polynesians, they keep lace, whether it's a wedding, a funeral, a birthday, Mother's Day, graduation, any special occasion, and just because they give a lace. Right now, it, we have a lot of Tongan people here. Uh, most of the people that first came to Utah were LDS, you know, belonging to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The LDS culture plays a lot in uh, the things I do and everything, that, the way I live. For example, you know, we are not open on Sundays. That's because we believe in keeping the Sabbath day holy. I think, they, I think the last statistic I, I read is like 50% of Tongans are, are LDS. You know, people in Utah might look, you know, like they're very like white bread, you know, peanut butter and jelly. But I think for the most part, people are really open. Because of the LDS culture, a lot of people have served foreign missions. And so um, I think that they are exposed to a lot of different cultures. In Tonga, you say food is part of, very much part of culture. You invite somebody to your house, you invite them to eat. Because Tongans, uh, their very thing is to share everything they have. Everywhere there is food. They always celebrate and they always serve food. They think you are not really a, a real celebration unless you have food. And they say, you know, a bigger celebration, you have to have a pig. So cook a pig. Food for our culture, I would say, is, I don't know, it's like going to a pool and not having any water. If you don't have good food, and by good food I mean like the traditional foods like lupulu or cooked bananas, and you know, if you don't have those traditional foods, then it's just like, meh, it's all right. Um, working at the store was not something that I had planned on. I do it for my parents. I do it because I know that they need the help and I know that they appreciate me helping them. You know, just like some parents, some kids go to their parents' house and take out the garbage. I come to my parents' house and help them run the store. Just like making sure that I'm doing what I need to do to, to make sure that my family's proud of me.